there is a brand new Zelda game out right now. These are my first impressions and I am sure you are already playing it. Maybe some of you have already beaten it. This first impression is pretty much covering the start of the game and how I am feeling that it is going. Review code provided by Bergsala Nintendo. Thank you. Now with this Zelda game we are going back a few steps. Back to some old roots of the series. This one not being a 3D open world Zelda game like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, but much more like the previously remade Link's Awakening for the Switch. Also giving me some heavy flashbacks to Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. And of course a Link to the Past. Now I've played all Zelda games, now I'm a Zelda person. And this one is um, kind of in a way uh, we could expect this, you know, Nintendo is always innovating. I feel like, and, like they are the ones that are known for being the innovators. This time around maybe the most notable change is that you don't fight directly. You are using the wand of Zelda to make echoes. Like you copy items from the world and you use them in clever ways to solve all of the puzzles that the game is throwing at you. And let me tell you, this is a puzzle game. First and foremost a puzzle game. And also when you solve the puzzles you are feeling smart. This game is bringing back that aspect of Zelda. Like my first feelings when I played Ocarina of Time when I was like 11 years old. When I figured out something I felt smart. <laughs> You know, we gotta have that sometimes. Just feeling smart for a tiny bit sometimes, you know? Uh, and you know what I mean. Some puzzles I'm stuck at and I'm fighting against the urge of googling the solutions. Totally trying to figure all of the puzzles out on my own and I'm getting those whoa moments, those aha moments. And that is pretty sweet. And in that regard, I feel like this entry into the Zelda series is going way more back into how I used to feel when I played Zelda games way back. Okay, so let's go over the story. You play as Zelda because Link has been taken down into a rift, sucked into some sort of dimension, and this dimension is corrupting people. Now I'm just gonna say it, the King of Hyrule is also sucked down into this, and he pops out and he's corrupted and he puts Zelda into a prison and he's gonna execute her. Oh my. Now, however, Zelda meets Tri, and Tri is a part of some entities that are able to close rifts, from what I gathered. Now she puts on a hood, going undercover, walking around Hyrule, and now she is trying to close all of these rifts that she is also diving into. In order to save her friends, and save everyone, including her dad, and Link. <laughs> So this Zelda game has actual old style dungeons and also some mini dungeons like caves and stuff in the overworld, really neat stuff. And the dungeons are structured much like older Zelda titles with like a big boss key and such. And everything is like a top down view, except for sometimes you have side scrolling areas. We did see that in Link's Awakening. Now the graphics, they are very cute. But I did see a lot of people complaining about frame drops. For me personally, I can say that I have have felt them a lot. Maybe because I haven't paid a lot of attention to that, but I feel like the game is surely acceptable. Also, the argument has been made that this is most likely, at some point, gonna be remade into the Switch 2's library. And I hope we don't have to buy it again at that point. <laughs> Now the towns, they are very, very cozy, very, very cute. I mean, throwing pots around, the villagers are actually reacting to you. Like a lot of small, cute details like that. And it also, it's just a very creative game. But I'm gonna go into some critique points. Of course I am. Now, so far, and I mean, Pretty early in the game, I was seeing where this was going. When I started to collect like a, an amount of echoes, I saw where this is going and it's going to be worse and worse the more I progress into the game. Managing my echoes and sorting through them. I mean, you have some sorting options for finding the echo that you want to use, but it is, it is not good. I mean, scrolling through the echoes list, it can be extremely tedious and it will be more and more tedious into the game. Now, this was not the best way to implement uh, a lot of echoes and oftentimes a lot of the gameplay time is being spent looking for the correct echo. <laughs> oh my god, I mean, 
I'm just gonna have that said. That is uh, one of the things that are annoying with this game. It's definitely that. And another con is that pretty early on, again, I felt like, oh my god, I'm missing having a sword. I just wanna, you know, go old style and whack stuff with a sword. I started to place down beds in order to break grass and get some rupees. And I was like, oh, I just wish I had like a sword right now. A bit into the game, however, you get Link's sword. And this is an ability that you can use it sometimes and it is on a time limit. Which means you can wield a sword sometimes for only a tiny bit of time. At least that is something and I was like, okay, I will take it. But for the most part, the combat may actually be like one of the weakest sides of the game because in order to kill stuff, you have to like, for example, I mean, there are several ways to do it. Uh, you can place down a pot, lift up the pot and throw the pot at whatever enemy is in your way or you wanna just kill, you know. Other than that, you can copy the actual monsters when you have defeated one and you get the echo of the monster. You can use the monster as, so yeah sort of like a Pokemon, to fight for you. So it's sort of like a little Echoes of uh, Pokemon. And it works if it wasn't for <laughs> it being so tedious to scroll through all of the Echoes. But I mean, like, I found some of my favorites, of course, the sea urchin, spamming that whenever I can, and also the rolling uh, monster, really loving that one as well. One of the most used echoes so far is, of course, the bed, which you can sleep in in order to recover your hearts, which I found so funny. You know, I was fighting the first, um, like, small boss of the game, and I'm placing down, like, a bed and sleeping in the middle of a boss fight. Also, there are echoes with elemental effects, like fire, uh, yeah, and a trampoline. I heard that there are over 100 echoes in the game and I'm not looking forward to scrolling through that list. Now, my first impression, to be honest with you, is that this is not hitting the top five of my Zelda games ever played list in my head. I don't think it even makes top 10 Zelda games I've played in my life. But I have a feeling like, you know, I have been wrong before. I'm often wrong. And I'm the first to admit that I'm often wrong. But I'm going into this game and thinking like, this is not immediately standing out to me. <laughs> it's me, it's not you, you know? But that may change in a few years time. Maybe I will be looking back at Zelda Echoes of Wisdom with like a fond nostalgia moment going on. And I will be like, oh my God, that was so good. I don't understand what I said in that first impression. <laughs> but you know what? There is some truth to that, that it is not you, it's me. Because <laughs> lately, guys, I have not been playing a lot of games lately because there's just happened something to me. I'm like in a gameplay gaming drought right now. There's like no game that is really sticking out to me. Like I'm talking about like the past three months maybe. No game that I've been obsessed with. No game that has piqued my interest a lot. I've been playing a few games like Visions of Mana and Astrobot and stuff but I've, I've not hit that... I've not gotten my fix if you know what I mean. Like a drug addict. I've not been obsessed with a game in a while now and I don't know why that is but partially maybe because I've gotten a new hobby. I've started to read books. Like what is wrong with you Irene? What is wrong with you? Are you even Isha gaming anymore? Are you becoming Isha reading? No but you know I've never read books in my life basically sort of. But I stumbled upon a book on Tiny Hats' bookshelf and after that I was like sold. I read Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari and I bought all of the other books uh, that he has written and now I've bought like 10 more books. So basically I'm not really playing a lot of games right now. But then this one came along, came in the mail. Thank you again Nintendo. And now uh, I am definitely motivated into playing this game. I'm gonna beat this. I'm gonna take my time also, uh, you know, not rushing through every dungeon and trying to complete the game as fast as I can, no. Because this is after all a Zelda game and Zelda games are they are my thing, definitely. I am taking my time and I'm gonna see how this game is like taking its hold over me maybe in the times to come. It is brand new and I'm like in the middle of how I feel overall, but I am actually feeling old Zelda feelings. Like I started the video by talking about that, oh my God, I'm actually smart. <laughs> As old Zelda games tended to, you know, make us feel. So there is something special here. I just don't know what it is yet because this is a first impression and I am early into the game. Now I'm just letting you guys know that this is 
worth picking up. If anything I said piqued your interest, this is worth picking up. If you are an old time Zelda fan, this is worth picking up because it's giving you that old dungeon feeling, like actually being full of puzzles and you have to actually think. And solve a lot of puzzles in very clever ways. A lot of the puzzles you can solve in several different ways and that is how we like it. That is how we feel extra smart. So I am enjoying my time already in Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Oh, I forgot to mention you can also connect to things and that is like a big ability that I totally didn't mention. <laughs> and sometimes I forget that I even have this ability. So don't you forget that you have that ability, that you can hook yourself to things and also move things around with this ability. You can like hang on to platforms and stuff. Anyways, now Bagsala also sent over some other things. Bagsala loves to send me the merch. They totally do. Okay, so it's a wall scroll. It is a wall scroll. Also the physical game. Very cute cover. And some stickers. Stickers. Oh my god, I have something like now at the end of the video. Actually, Gamersubs finally decided to sponsor me. Like I'm becoming like an ambassador of Gamersubs. And that means they send me products and I am making a commission if you buy Gamersubs with my code or link down below. So that means I've been drinking Gamersubs for over two years. It's been a small meme on my channel, like Gamersubs sending me stuff and they going to Japan and all of that. After my previous plate lately, I linked them the little section where I was like telling the little joke about them and they loved it. And then they sent me the stuff and they were like, okay, we're accepting you into the program. So that means if you order Gamersubs, uh, emotional damage is my favorite. I've already finished one tub of this this one. You can use my link down below and the discount code to get yours and I get the kickback from Gamersubs actually. They sent me some other flavors like I don't know I haven't played <laughs> played like I haven't tried this one yet and this one anime Thai girl. <laughs> okay they're, they're just having fun with the names okay never mind that. The flavors are actually on the website and you can also get the shakers there. I am loving emotional damage uh, loving that always said that. It's so good. I like strawberry goodness. Also, they have caffeine-free uh, stuff. And about the caffeine, I drink one scoop every day, every morning. Do not have caffeine in the evenings, guys. And don't overconsume caffeine. But one scoop, I do that personally every morning. It's my morning thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it and hit like on it. Also, join the Discord where we can talk about Zelda and how smart we are. Now subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will see you later.